Hello everybody, welcome to the semi-final between Andy Devo and Sindane. Sindane was the winner last season, wasn't he, I believe, and then he's got to the semi this year. This year, this season. Um, yeah, so we've got we've got the obviously the massive monstrous orb team versus crappy Burts. The Burts have Griff and a wizard, and uh, in the booth with me is Fimir. Hello. Hello, everybody. We have here maybe the counter to the frenzy orcs. Oh, that was called the no fan and wrestle. <laughs> Yeah, maybe not, eh? Oh, two seasons ago, well, I was I was wrong. <laughs> oh well. I think Andy made a mistake uh, here because that blitz, that blitz should have been the juggernaut one. Oh, it's very juggernaut as well. No, oh, yeah, he's got juggernaut. That will be, you know, with Juggernaut, that will be a uh, piece down. Yeah, but then he hasn't got, he has, he's got tackle, hasn't he? Ah, oh, but then he's Do got want... wrestle, so... Yeah, yeah, Juggernaut is like having tackle, isn't it? Because you can choose the both down, yeah. Oh, you could just blitz this one. I think you probably should just blitz this one with the Juggernaut guy. To be fair. Oh, wow, it puts in the reroll on the, on the Griff Blitz. Oh, wow, man. Oh, Griff in danger there. Yeah. <laughs> Having to use all 11 movement to recover. I'm just trying to rescue, like... It's so hard, isn't it, this team? I mean, this is like a completely unremarkable Brett team, isn't it? Um, it's all right, actually. Three guard, four guard re uh, blockers slash wrestlers. Guard, adjunct, board steppers. Only three blitzes, though. He has all the tools, but there are no monsters. Well, he has a grief and a wizard, which always, you know, is like uh, cheating. Yeah. Yeah, he's got he's got to use Griff and the wizard to uh, to high roll, basically. That's basically all he's got. <laughs> Also, both of the both of the blitz up killers have jump up as well. It's really an insane team, isn't it? He has every single thing <laughs> that you could uh, want on an orc team. Oh, greeting. Well, he has uh, a lot of rerolls anyway, so still has you know both of them still have three rerolls. So yeah, greeting a little. Player. He's the only player on the other team, isn't he? <laughs> Griff is a team of one. I mean, not really. He's got the two. Oh, wow. This is no wizard. He's got the two edge guys as well. Wow. Gets the cars. This is... Is that right? It's... It's really risky, really complicated to get to the ball there. Yeah, all you've got is Griff coming around the outside. Or maybe he can uh, hit the strength for a uh, orc, and then you have the IG4 try to do some uh, magic there. You know the one that is already marked by the guard, the mighty blow uh, blocker. Yeah, what two you can guards get two dice here, there. blitz him, and then two plus through there, and then you can hit him maybe. Seems it seems a crap wizard in my opinion. First glance, oh, and then the Mister Throw made a pass before dying. Yeah, yeah, dump off from Mister Throw. It seems a bit crap. Like okay, it could go well, and I guess like you know he's on a clock, right? His team's it's not terrible. Like he's got a dec he's got a decent amount of guard, what, five guard or something. Like a decent amount of guard for birds. It's not a terrible bird team, but ultimately it's still birds. And you, he's got he knows he's gotta get really lucky, but I still think he could have had a better chance than this. But, you know, just just save it for scoring on your own drive, you know? Because you may yeah. well have to really save it for scoring on your own drive. And then if you get to overtime anything can happen, right? Maybe. But Hello, Doctor Momaosko. Hello. 
Yeah, it's it's hard. Like it's hard to be too too critical of the birds because like you know it is so hard for them. They are on a clock. And, uh, if he powered in there, he might have he might have surfed Griff, might he? Because he could have run around here. If this was a pow, he could have run around and then whisked him into the lino and surfed him. Um, even though he's got fend. <laughs> Which I'm sure is what he was thinking about when he made that block. <laughs> but yeah, now he's a very well protected ball. That's the thing, right? Because if you've got the wizard in hand, he's got to think about the wizard. But now by spunking your bolt early, then um, now he doesn't need to care at all. And now you're just getting grounded dust, aren't you? Whereas at least if he's got like loose cage and play around the wizard a little bit, then it's stopping him teeing off on all you guys a bit. So, But then by the same token, if you make the fight about the ball, then that again stops like just the perfect attrition blitzes every time. So I guess there's, there's pros and cons, but I don't like it. <laughs> I think he should be protecting Griff as if Griff is one of his own players. For a foul. Okay, not, not blitzing with the Juggernaut. Well, now the Juggernaut's got the ball, so now he can't. <laughs> now he can't realistically blitz with the Juggernaut, can he? Nope. But here, a shot at the Griff there, maybe that would be a better option. Because Griff, end of the day, can move 10, so even, you know, for the one turn attempts. Yeah. And has a reroll for more or less everything. Yeah. Ah, going for the uphill. This looks terrible, doesn't it? That's that's. I, I don't understand why he opened with that uphill. But I, you can things can happen, right? If if he powers this guy, then he's got one D on the ball. Um, if I can get two D on the ball, if he powers him, he can get two D on the ball. So. Yeah, I mean that's pretty great, isn't it? If he if he gets the power there, he's got two D on the ball, and if not, he's got he can he can get if it's a push. And he's got wrestlers where right, so it's a, it's a, a both down or a pow, you can get two D on the ball. All right, but if it's a both down, you can get one D on the ball. But if if he, if it's a power, you can get two D on the ball, which is pretty good, isn't it? Um, with a push, it's one D on the ball, though, isn't it? In fact, it's not even it's hard to be one D. You'd have to punch him. And a one D, and then he'd maybe get one D on the ball. He can maybe get a two D on the ball. I don't know. It's hard. Basically, he needs the power to get two D on the ball. Um, or the ball down. But it was pretty good if you got it because it was two D on the ball, wasn't it? Like, so I think that was good. I think that was like the right thing to do. But imagine if he'd saved his wizard and he could have just like put in a fireball on these four first and stuff. Um, so I think he really should have. Like he wasn't down loads of players. I, I, I don't know. I think I think his fireball was a bit too. His bolt was a bit too. Too oh, early, yes. Yeah, I think it was. But then you know, if you remember my high elves played some orcs. I think it was Sindane's orcs. It could have been. I think it was Sindane's orcs. Yeah. Um, and I could have lightning bolted and didn't. And then the next turn, I had like six players left or something. So. <laughs> you know, like, there's always a danger of that, isn't there? Especially against, like, a team like this. As Sindern knows all too well, because Sindern won it with gigantic orcs. So, so go, he'll get the safe one in here, won't he? So, yeah, surf Griff, that's pretty brutal. So, that was obviously, it was high risk because Griff's getting surfed if you fail. Which isn't good, is it, when he's your best player? Yep, bad. Griff survives. Tuesday, Archon. Tuesday. It's been delayed because of uh, Rick being at work. Um, and 
also me not really wanting to do it as well. <laughs> Helped. <laughs> but, um... Alright, some guy one and three. But you know what I mean. <laughs> when is the primary way you win the game? Oh, I surf back though. All the remains are there. <laughs> oh, nearly. Oh, so close. <laughs> I don't like not getting through here. I feel like you could have just got got past these, couldn't you? Did he even blitz that turn? Surely he could have got past and screened off. Or there. Rather than leaving a one deal. Oh. Yeah, that was. Got the bow. Wow. Got the catch. <laughs> wow, that was a bit. That was a bit. Like, kind of careless, right? A bit brainless, I guess. I guess he thought, oh, I've just surfed Griff, I've won. <laughs> but, um, That's the thing, you know, it's one of these uh, beautiful plays to see and all that, but you're investing a lot of your players. Yeah. I really think he should have uh, Should definitely protect the ball better than that. That was... Now it's lax. I don't think he even blitzed, so he, sh he could have definitely predicted the ball better. Oh no, he blitzed the surf Griff, didn't he? No, that was last turn. Yeah, no, no, I don't think he blitzed. Yeah, I don't think he blitzed all of them. Yeah, so I guess the 3D. Nah, he was finding it too easy, so he, he just fucking turned his brain off for a little bit, didn't he? Which is something we've all done. <laughs> it's kind of easy to do, isn't it, when you're dominating a game, you take your eye off the ball a bit. And... Yeah, but now... There are no orcs in range. Um, there's quite a lot in range. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's this, there's this black orc <laughs> and this blitzer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, there is uh, rolls that needed to be made, and now <laughs> that we in trouble. Yeah, no, I mean, he should have definitely, he should have definitely blitzed and gone behind. Also, this this guy should have been here, shouldn't he? Um, or even in front of this black orc, because this black orc is the obvious player. Just hand off and score, isn't it? Um, I wonder if there's a way to get this guy in. I, I was going to try and find a way to here, but the best player was handing off to the strength four and just double GFI. But instead, Devils changed this guy, which is slightly worse <laughs> and requires a push. So this is just definitely worse. Even if it was a three plus three plus, um, it was still worse than just a four plus. But. They have to do the two GFIs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it, it wasn't. They went crazy for it in uh, in Andy's the chat. chat. Yeah, yes, they were like. But I, th I thought it was again a case, you know, the beautiful play versus the most effective play. Yeah, yeah. My my instinct was to find a better way to to get, you know, try to free up that strength force somehow. Um, I would have just kept the IG four in range. And that's just a two plus. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, he, he could have just protected the ball better the the turn before, <laughs> or two turns before. 
I mean, there are minimum things, you know, because end of the day, Andy has played the uh, half very well. But uh, getting a little carried away, you know, by the power of his team. Yeah. You know, yeah, like, I think that's this, what it was. Yeah. These guys can do anything, so it's like, okay, there you go, boom, boom. And what well, he's right, this team can do anything. It's like, no, I won't give in until I'm victorious. That is a glorious and team. I will defend. The only team that can be there is one on bias. It's a massive claw Hello. team. And I've been lucky with the claw. Uh, um, Andy's play was 58%, and the best play was 64%. So, you know, it wasn't yeah. the end of the world. But it was it was inventive, wasn't it? Uh, you know, which is nice, isn't it? He got the he got the crowd going, so that's that's more important, isn't it? Really. Well, <laughs> he scored, making a classic uh, Andy Devo play. Yeah, yeah. He was loyal, you know, to his uh, following, uh, to his roots, yeah. and uh, to be absolutely obnoxious, pretentious. You know, you could say he's like a chess player, like Capablanca, that was all passing. There you go. And thank you very much. Oh, Mr. Yemadan for the bits uh, an hour ago. Squig on a stick, thank you very much just now for staying fantastic for three glorious months. And also Ansi for 18 months an hour ago. Sorry, I was uh, I was ruining Fatting's day then. <laughs> All right, there you go, your. Uh... Yeah, this was a terrible one turn attempt. I don't even know what he was doing, to be honest. That was... That was pretty hideous, Bison Lane. I guess he's more of a bash coach, with a, you know, he won with Orcs, didn't he, last season? And uh, not last season, two seasons ago, so I guess he's more of a... More of a banger than a <laughs> than a one-turning specialist, but uh, he should have definitely tried something better than whatever the hell that was. <laughs> no offence. Not using a grief for the scoring. Yeah. They like... Why you have grief then? Yeah, like okay, this guy's got team rerolls and sidestep, but he's an extra movement more than him essentially with sure feet on the GFI. So basically, it's just better, isn't it? Anyway, Sindane hasn't endured much punishment here, so he has full team. Yeah, very, very, very lucky. <laughs> All the chaos came back. I mean, he has a babe anyway, but the. I mean, very lucky because Griff got served. Griff could have easily just been killed from that, couldn't he? So, incredibly lucky to still have basically a full power team in the second half. Like, it has and, been and he so played many... the half as well, didn't he? he didn't yes. just lie down like Dio. He played the whole half with a team of armor seven and armor eight, and still has a full team. That is crazy lucky, to be fair. <laughs> so many mighty blow hits that he took, and yes, no worries. Oh, extra team roll. Quick equity entering the building. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I think that wizard was. Again, it's really hard to say. It's really hard to say it was wasted, but I feel like it was, he wasted his wizard a bit. I think the argument to be made is uh, I need to use the wizard quickly because my team is going to disappear in a couple turns. Yeah. Yeah. And there was there was ways to get through, so it was it wasn't terrible or anything. I just think it wasn't good. And plus the fact you might need it on offense as well. That's the other thing that I feel, you know, like I, I feel that sometimes like as as kind of a bash team, um, if like you're in a rough match, rather than using on like a speculative attempt there. There's all the more temptation to save it just because you might need it to score your touchdown at all. And looking at this Orc team, yeah. <laughs> I think he might need it to score at all. Yeah. I mean, I would uh, yeah, save the wizard and say, okay, Griff and a wizard is nearly under. Lots of chances for me scoring on my own drive. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he was unlucky there with the foul, wasn't he? Like, he could have. He could have rolled some Rick Dice there and he could have made a few removals with that, with that one dirty player. Actually got to make a foul, a really good foul as well. And yes. the reward was getting sent off. <laughs> and he actually had an extra apple as well. Unlike Dio's uh, bribe that he never used, he went for the extra apple, which he hasn't used yet. 
Um, which I think is much more sensible. Really. So, yeah, you might high roll with a bribe, but how are you like how are you going to knock down people to get the foul chances, right? <laughs> and also, getting getting a good foul is very complicated because there is going to be you know a lot of players involved and cancelling uh, helps and all that. So it's like, yeah, it's brutal. Okay, oh, this is a gaping hole. This isn't it. There is one there, if I ever saw one. <laughs> that is that is an absolute gaping hole. Okay, but at least There you go lad! <laughs> Run! Run for your life! So the one the one time Andy's actually defended the sideline. He's left the centre too weak. <laughs> Unbelievable, Jeff. And this isn't ideal, is it? But at least he's at least he's through. He's not perfect, but. It's very good. He has good players uh, close to the ball if something happens. He's got three edge four players to dodge away and screen it. Because obviously he doesn't want to doesn't want to score, does he? No, no, no. <laughs> you want to score time sixteen. <laughs> So like it's maybe a bit too early this breakthrough, but I still think it was right to do it. I think it's the right move to do because anyway you have at least the ball is now in uh, Andy's uh, half of the pitch. Yeah. You know you're trying to keep things behind and all that, then you find yourself you need to cover 16 squares in three turns or something like that. Yeah. I think you against this team you got to take anything you can get, haven't you? So I think you have to go for it. It was actually big GFI there, wasn't it? That would have really locked down Griff. He's now he's got a 2 plus away. This guy's got a 2 plus away as well. You know, you're dauntless, which he basically has to in this game. <laughs> With a ball carrier, nonetheless, you know. Uh... Mm -hmm. Brave uh, play there, but again, I think you need to do this kind of plays. Yeah, yeah, I can't fault him at all. As he just blocks with Griff. I don't know, I, I think I would have liked dodging. Oh, for me that would have been a, a dodge yeah. with Griff. Yeah, because you've got the 1 in 9 dodge with this guy, and then a 1 in 6 dodge with Griff, and then this guy could try like a 1 in 9 and then a 1 in 36, so you could have got like four players through here but like this is a bit safer isn't it like it's a 2d and then no dodge so like this is kind of safer it's not bad in any way but then i would have rather had the two edge four guys near the ball like if this guy got through one two three four five six seven he could have had an edge four here and obviously griff could have been there and then he's got two edge fours near the ball be and now nice. because now you know there are few players there so yes Renzi doing the magic now. Ball mark with tackle. Should have GFI'd here, shouldn't he? Stop this two plus. No, oh, but then if he does, yeah. then he this does this three plus. But I still think it was better to G. Yeah, GFI here. I think GFI here is, is right. I guess he's stopping Griff two plusing away there. His strength four, but then this guy's got guard anyway. He will try. Uh, he should have tried to mark that guy, the guard blocker with the uh, IG four. Yeah, I think he probably should have GFI'd. But, doesn't matter. 
He's rolled the double one and died. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> and okay. the apples are there six you go. as well. <laughs> wow. Well, there you go. I mean, that was definitely the right play to do the one data chain and I wasn't definitely the right play. It was probably all, it was probably all right because he, he's got he's got Don, so it might have been a two D and he might have rolled the pal. And then he he could have uh, like stopped the dodge. Like the alternative was just hand off to that wrestler and score. But I mean, he was going to have to score here, whatever happened, wasn't it? Yes, because there are not enough uh, bread players in the area. That's the problem in doing, you know, the screens with the three players or, or, or well, and now there is even less. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, personal preference, really, Ridder. Just, just personal preference. Like some people are greedy and they go for their strength, thinking they will get another double later. But some people can just, you know, just go block because it's safe. Goes for the pickup. Got it. And yep, all the cars have come in, finally. Finally the cars have come in. The dice becoming real now. <laughs> so Griff's there. It's hard for him to do anything, isn't it? It's, it looks absolutely horrible for uh, seeing day now. Just uphill him with wrestle. <laughs> That's not even wrestle. Oh god. Well, push him then. <laughs> we'll just push him. That could have been a good fireball there, wouldn't it? That would have been a great fireball if he'd still had his wizard. <laughs> or bolt, and then maybe he could have scored. Unrealistic, but possible. He still has the edge for bullshit anyway. I can still run around a bit. But yeah, I really like the I really like the, the dodge through the turn before because it wasn't like well not the turn before a few turns ago when he could have dodged Griff and the edge four through. I think it was riskier, but the payoff made it worth it. Yeah. Nice side step, so he doesn't get served. Getting the power there. But he's sandwiched between the tackler and that. Does use the blitz this time? <laughs> yes, yes. What does he have to do? Just 3 plus 2 plus around the back for a 1D from Griff? I could get. get. I can't get the garden, can he? Yeah, not really. Oh, the guard could go in this way. No, he can't. Really. Oh, he's going that way. Oh. Just dodging one day. Oh my god. Okay, that's a bit crazy. <laughs> oh. I guess it was only a four plus for a one day. That's not bad at all, is it? Yeah, that's the one orc without guard, wasn't it? The strength five being the one orc without guard, so yeah, you could get one D through there. And now Griff's have got a three plus two plus. And oh what my god. Score? Okay, reroll works. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking star players. <laughs> Fucking useless. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, so Mog, you know Mog dub scold and now Griff double ones. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh! This was just a score in his own drive as well. <laughs> oh dear. But I mean, the, the 4 plus dodging in 1D was a pretty good spot actually, because it wasn't really that hard, was it, when you think about it? He's got Wrestle, and the, yeah, it was the one Orc without guard, so it was actually a yeah. very reasonable hit. 
that moment when the strength five black orc is the weak link yeah 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 he, he genuinely is right he's the only one without guard basically on the team <laughs> see how v splits with this guy at the scatter see what happens <laughs> oh okay okay we are back in the game guys great bullshit oh my god Oh, oh fucker! On for the Lord! Oh, for the Lord too! Oh, he's killed. Fuck yeah. out of the grief. Disgrace. <laughs> God, he nearly won it, didn't he, Griff? Well, not won it, nearly nearly got it to overtime where he would have inevitably lost. <laughs> but, you know, made a game of it. And like, that's if the thing, he, you know, it's like... If he was to extra time and uh, seeing Dane receive... Yeah, he'd have had a chance. Like, the, the, yeah. oh, like, you know, this is the thing, right? You know, obviously, Andy's massive favourite, but, like, obviously, Sindain and Dio are, like, obviously really good at Blood Bowl and they're going to try their hardest, aren't they? And they're not going to give up and they're going to use what meagre oh. things they have to try and get a chance. Um, but the odds are definitely stacked against them. Anyone who plays against this team, the odds are stacked against them. And now the Kaz are coming. Again, too late. But, like, this is the thing, like... Andy's basically been unlucky in in, in the round of 16 and in the quarter and in the semi. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that, that's a horrible uh, truth of it, you know? That, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's so easy for him to just obliterate teams with this. And, like, completely crush their life out of them. And I've got to feel like in the final where he doesn't have to protect the team for the rest of the tournament, it's going to be horrible for his opponent in the final. Because I think he was always mindful of like, you know, not wanting a random cars to a random block. So he was really trying to be as safe as possible protecting his team. Because I know, because I played like that with my Chaos team in Rebel. Um, but now he can get to go all out in the final. And just, uh, yeah, it's gonna be very, very hard. And that's it. GG. Just that's end. It. GG. End the fucking and turn, I... man. <laughs> oh, could he have made an orc? The orc could have made a pass and leveled. Oh Isn't my god, did the orc have a score? Yeah, he could have tried. He could have tried a pass, couldn't he, on the last turn? If he, I don't know if he was in range, but if he was in range, he totally should have gone for the Black Orc pass in case he got the MVP because he ended up on 75 and he could have got guard. <laughs> guard, you know, the, the mandatory, the skill that he's lacking just to make it even worse. <laughs> yeah, the, the weak link, the strength 5 The weak link, the you know, strength 5 Orc, <laughs> disgusting in peace, you know. <laughs> Dragging the team down. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, that's funny, isn't it? Because that was that was really a like four cards, and uh, from sixty blocks, and they were just all at the end, weren't they? They were all at the end, and like that could have been so much worse for the birds. Um, and yeah, he nearly he nearly got it to overtime in the end, um, and in fact, nearly could have won in, all, in normal time, right? Like he popped the ball on defense, and uh, yeah, no, there were the uh, chances that. Uh... You know, uh, Andy gave uh, tiny openings because I know that they are tiny openings that involve having needed a lot of dice. Yeah. But these kind of coaches, you know, he's playing against, they're going to see that and they're going to see, okay, well, my chances here, okay, let's go for it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, you know, it's 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 really like, yeah, that you're never going to get super easy matches, right? Just because the coaches are so good. But. This team is just a monstrosity, isn't it? <laughs> One of the best oh, uh, orc teams I've ever seen. Yeah, for sure. So there you go. Congrats, Andy. Uh, commiserations, Sindane. Thank you very much, Faimir, for the core commentary. Absolutely glorious, as always. Always a pleasure to be here. Thank you very much. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.